starting here at Global Village. I'm living here on the third floor. And yeah, we're now going to walk towards the campus. So let me also show you the other buildings of, of the Global Village of Peking University. Because this is not the only one, there are more uh, back there. So building three and five are also a lot of my friends live. And I think this part here is um, the hotel for the yeah, guest visitors. Now let's keep on walking towards campus entry. looks like. Um, Peking University has a total of I think four or five gates and we will see at least one more of them. And now I am heading even further south because I wanted to show you the, the gym. I worked out a lot. So there is a lot of stuff inside. A swimming pool, a gym, badminton courts and even more stuff I don't even know about probably. I will just leave my bike here for one or two minutes. So enter it from here. Here's the entrance. I won't go in now, but you get the idea. Courts. So this is what it looks like. And yeah, this sports hall was also used at Beijing 2008, as you can see. But I'm not sure which sport they, they did here. And yeah, this is also one of the last days for me here at, at the campus. Almost kind of sad to leave this place. Before I came here, I also really wish there was a very yeah, long, detailed video about the campus. But yeah, I just found some short ones. So that's why I'm making this. And I hope at least one or two can profit from that. So next stop is one of my favorite canteens. It's called Nongyan. Um, yeah, we were there most of the times during lunchtime because it's actually, I think it's the closest one to Global Village or the, one of the bigger ones that is very close to Global Village uh, where the dorms are. It has two floors. Second one can be reached by this escalator. During summer break, they close the second floor because yeah, less people are here now during summer break. And it's also not too crowded now. During semester times, coming here at 6 p.m., which is the current time, it was so crowded. It's literally a different place now. It's actually now, now, now it's kind of nice. Here on this counter, you can also get nice ice cream for very cheap ice cream as well, some drinks. And then they have left part where you can grab some food. But I actually always preferred the right part here. In my opinion, there is even better food. But I may be biased as a, veg as a vegetarian, so I think the left, left part just has more meat. So if you're into that, yeah, I mean, I, wouldn't tr I would try both, of course. Here is also a nice little cafe where you can grab your coffee after finishing your lunch or dinner. There is also another construction site going on here, but I have no clue what this building is, to be honest. This is one of the teaching buildings, by the way, or science buildings, or science teaching buildings. I always mix them up. One of the big buildings where a lot of lectures are. Peking University bus. I also used to ride one of those uh, every week because one of my lectures was at a different campus of Peking University, um, at the new campus in Changping, and um, where only, I think, computer science master's students are currently located. So I had to travel there once a week, but yeah. And here is the New Sun Student Center, uh, where you will pick up your student ID card in the very first week or even first day, probably. It's pretty important. But I won't show you the boring offices up there, but maybe the souvenir shop down there where they sell merchandise down here. This is the place. Currently, it's closed. It's already 6.30. So let's go up again, take the bike and see some more stuff. And now we're going to this direction. Here I can show you this uh, Centennial Hall. 
which is the main university hall. And it's really, really nice. You can buy tickets on WeChat. Highly recommend to see at least one of the uh, symphonies, orchestras, or the Peking Opera. Yeah, it was probably my highlight. Peking Opera for sure. So make sure to, to see that while being here. Although it's summer vacation now, people don't have lectures anymore. There's still so much going on on the campus, which I really love. It's just very lively because all of the students live here. And while seeing that, I even pass the dormitories of the um, domestic students. So what I showed you in the very beginning was the global village where just the international students are located. But those are the dorms for domestic students. It's quite nice because it's like right in the middle, or not in the middle, but like in the south, but quite still quite central to where all the stuff is happening. And it's they also live right next to Jayuan, which is I think the biggest canteen on campus. Yeah, for sure. I mean, look how massive this is. So it has four floors, each one serving different meals. I will just show you the third floor now, because I think it's the one I used to eat the most, because it uh, serves until 9 or 10 p.m. And the first three floors uh, serve Chinese, Korean, Japanese, Asian, Asian food in general. But the fourth floor is Western food. So if you're craving Western food, you can also check out that one. And here you can really see how big this place is. First floor down there, second floor in the middle. We are in the third one, as I said, and the fourth fourth floor is yeah, even up there. It's just huge. And here are all the counters. Grab your meals. I highly recommend getting mala tongue here. It's just great. Yeah, so much different food, so much variety. But also, here is an entrance. In the basement, you will find different shops, also some food, some shui go lao, yogurt, the fruits. You find a Wu Mart, which is a supermarket. And China Mobile is also there, which is really helpful in the first few days when you try to get a SIM card. So, definitely check that place out if you need that kind of stuff. And we'll continue now slowly towards the more beautiful part of campus which is the more northern part because the south uh, as you have seen is just a couple of kind of new buildings i think to for peck university to deal with the large amount of students so they built uh, big teaching buildings for the lectures bigger lecture halls big canteens and so on but yeah the northern part is the more traditional it's a perfect place to go for a run to chill out to hang out and i want to take a turn right here so you can also see the tennis court into tennis here. And I think I'm also taking you inside one of those where I actually had a lecture every week, one of my classes. So you can see how they look inside. Here is some nice little park area as well where we play frisbee a lot of times. This one it is. Let's take a quick look inside. room where I had my one of my classes. So right behind those trees is the winning lake and it's actually kind of in the center of Peking University. And it's a, also a really nice place to hang out with some friends. Nice little lake. But I think I'm first gonna head to the west gate to show you a second gate and also the most famous one with the nicest architecture. Literally tourists come here to take photos in front of the west gate because it's so, it, it's just the landmark of Peking University and very famous in China. And since, uh, yeah, tourists in general can't enter the campus, they often take pictures in front of the west gate from outside. Here we are, let's get 
As you can see, there are many tourists outside. It's crazy. But I won't go outside now. It's too crowded, too busy, too loud. Really quiet, really peaceful here. I love it. And I think they should also bring us to the Stanford Center of Beck University. They have like a small corporation going on with Stanford University in the US. I think it should be one of the next buildings here. Unfortunately, it's not open anymore, so we can't look inside. When it's open, you can see the, the, the small little garden inside. It's quite nice. So we move on to probably Wing Lake now. <laughs> But I almost forgot to show you the library, which is a very important landmark of the university. It's the biggest library in Asia, I think, by the number of books. And it's also a really nice building, and I studied there a lot as well. So definitely check that place out when you're here. And now, goodbye.